Hey everyone, it's me Dorothy and welcome back to Simply Drops. Okay, so we are back at it again. It's almost new school year. My students actually start next Tuesday for my school zone. And then we also have a school zone starting within the next one to two weeks. So, if you guys do not know, my channel... In my channel, I share with you guys a lot of like braces vlogs, my journey in different aspects, my business journey, and I just want to share with you guys a lot of things. So, if you guys don't know, I teach from home. I am an educator. Well, I'm studying to become an educator, and I've worked in the education field for about four to five years now, and I am teaching from home, and I've been teaching from home since COVID. So, just yesterday, I went to Dollar Tree, and I got two big bags of stuff for the new school year. So, I'm going to do a little haul to show you what I got. And if you guys don't like hauls, go ahead and click out of the video. But if you guys want to see what I got as an educator, Keep on watching. So one of the first things I got were these desk organizers interlock. And they're five pieces and these were only a dollar. So um and put these on the student's desk and they can put certain things in each container and this will help desk stay organized. And I got a few of these because I mean you can never be too organized. So I got a green, a blue, a pink. And I'm sure I got one more, but I don't know what's that right now. I think it fell out. Uh, the next thing I got here were pencils. And I got these jumbo pencils that I'm going to give my students as gifts because I have about eight students going back to school and about four, four or five of them are pre-K students which means it's their first time going to school and I want to give them a gift for them to be less nervous as well as kind of get them ready and their mindset ready for the new school year. So I got some colorful pencils. And then these jumbo ones right here. And these ones are just to get their mindsets ready that you're going to what I call big school to them. Okay, so I got a bunch of these. And then I also got some more flashcards that I'm gonna use at home with my students. And these are Fondix flashcards. I also got these sight word things to hang up and all the kids are from pre-k all the way to first grade so these words will help them a lot um, but a bunch of stuff here for here's another whole sight words list and then got a Another one right here. So yes, I have a bunch of sight words because reading is very important and I want my students to be able to get over the sight words because for my students particularly, they are all good in math. Math is not something that I'm too concerned about with them. Reading is something I'm more concerned about, especially my kinder going to first grade they struggle with sight words and struggle with kind of sounding out so i want to make sure that they are somewhat on level in the reading level and they're able to kind of pronounce even not even just like kind of try and sound out words so sight words is a must have for me i also got these magnets these are arrow magnets that would definitely help me when I teach small group and I can just put these magnets in different areas on the board and the kids will be able to learn. I also got these educational spinners for science. This is 
about a butterfly and I thought this would be perfect for spring where when it comes to um, teaching science I can teach them about the life cycle of a butterfly or if any of my kids um, have the butterfly curriculum I this will help them I also got these hands-on backyard fun and this book I am planning to use it especially during the summer when the kids have free time and I'm able to go in here and just pick out different things where they can learn and have fun I also got um, these guide to the sky for them to learn about the surroundings, the earth, the rainbow, the rain, different weathers. So this is a spinner that I also got. I also got this bulletin board puzzle. And this is what I'm planning to use on the first day back to school where we're going to put a, together a whole puzzle where is this kind of a fresh new start is what I'm trying to do with this. I also got an inflatable balloon and with this it's again a first day of school type of thing to this would be a first or a first day of summer type of thing as they get ready for the end of the year or something colorful to get make them happy for the first day of school. I also got this notebook to write down notes and information that is important that I need to keep note of here this is going to be my, one of my gifts to my students so with the pencil they each will get one colorful pencil one jumbo pencil and a sharpener as a uh, going to school gift from me because I've been teaching them for a while and they know me as their teacher and they pretty much only know me as their teacher so a gift like that to kind of set them off into their official school and of course they come back to me after school for homework help this is kind of a gift saying you are big now you're going to go to school you don't really have that free time or that flexibility that they usually have with me I also have these number line board that uh, is colorful. I'm hoping that this will help them right with their math. I got two of these. I also got these die cut numbers. I'm planning to decorate these around the room to help my students be able to recognize numbers. Um, this is when July 4th hits and for my kids when they have their history projects. This is the Star Swingle Banner in the preamble to the United States Constitution. So this is a sign that I will put up in my classroom for my students. The color of the wheel. This is personally for my pre-K students as they're learning numbers and mixing colors together to get a different color. So this is for my pre-K students. Of course, as an elementary school teacher, you cannot forget stickers. I already got a bunch, but I figured to get more. These are the bigger stickers. And as a teacher, you can never get too much because you use them constantly. These are um, the scratch out stickers. I got another set of these because I have some already, but I'm planning to cut these and put them in a goodie bag along with the pencils and e sharpeners and send a sticker with them to scratch off for the first day of school. I also got a bunch of puzzles for them to do, and these puzzles are for free time here at my house where they can do puzzles for fun. Okay, moving on to bag number two, this one. I got some colorful cubes 
And these can be used for math or just fun activities. So, close and cute. Uh, so, we got this truck came in. I have uh, about a few boys that love Lego wrapping and making stuff. So, I'm, in, I'm filming this video in the kids' playroom right now. And these are perfect for the boys. I only have two boys and the rest are girls. And the girls, they tend to like the kitchen set more. They do like the puzzles as well. But I know that these ones, they will get tired of like in two minutes. Because the girls, they like to draw more. I'm talking about my students specifically. They like to draw and color. So I got this two sets at Dollar Tree where my two boys can build and this will be their toy here so they can also play with it. I also got these wall borders, these animal wall borders. They look super super cute and these are for animal recognition and of course to make a classroom more classroomy. Does it make sense? I also got some organizers here because as you guys know a teacher can never be too organized. I also got some of these beads because sensory skill is super important, especially at the age of like pre-K. So I use these with like felt um sticks and to have the kids kind of use these for the sensory skills. Well, sensory and fine motor skills. I also got these blank sight word sheets. And these are for me to kind of just use them as like a way to get my students to interact and actually help them write on here and hang them on the wall in their classroom. I have a whole kitchen set that I got, but I kind of use it already. So I got this dishwashing set. And then it comes with detergent, a dish, a spoon, a fork, and two cups. And then I got a whole other food set, which I will show you towards the end of the video because it's right there. Um, okay. Of course, I got books. So, reading is super important. So, I got a bunch of books here. I got books to classroom for during reading time once they're finished with their homework. Or I got a bunch of picture books and these were only a dollar so why not because as I said reading is super important and I also got um, this educational resource it's a rule type of poster and it's it's kind of a reminder new year I cannot be flexible with you like I was in the summertime so this is what I expect here during homework hour. But yeah, I've got two more books. These are the goodie bags that I have for my students. I will put a piece of candy in here as well with the erasers and send them off in these bags. It's kind of like a welcome to school. I also got these um, magnet tins because I'm planning to put erasers in here and for each sound there's an, something in here that starts with it and I can hang this on the whiteboard. I only found two in my Dollar Tree but I'm going to be looking for more of these magnetic tins because these will help me when it comes time to teaching the alphabet and the letter sounds so I'm dead. But yeah, I also got another one. Another organizing bag. I got a color flashcard and first grade flashcards for my pre kids and kinders. Also, of course, erasers. You cannot not have erasers for little ones. Oh, of course, I cannot. I could not go without. This is so cute. This is a doggy notepad. And this is for me to just jot down notes where I'm sitting. And it's super, super cute as well. 
and you're going to the magnetic tin here. And of course, I got these tweezers because these help with fine motor skills. And I cannot, I've been looking for these and I got the magnetic and I'm super, super happy. So, oh. I also got these counting 1 to 20 flashcards because. Because I need them. Um, if you have any questions on particularly how I'm gonna use these, comment down below and I will show you kind of how I set them up in my classroom. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. Click subscribe for more videos like this below. Comment down below what day your uh, school starts or your your child's school starts and. Yeah, I cannot wait to read the comments. Follow me on social media if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be yourself and stay beautiful. Bye-bye.